everyone, it's Michelle here. Welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today I'll be focusing on body rotation. I noticed with a lot of golfers, especially beginners, when they know how to hold the club, they start go to drive range and just start hitting with their hands and this will eventually cause a lot of injuries. So today I would like to talk a little bit about a proper body rotation in order for you to get to a solid golf swing and also more consistent ball flight. While we're hitting a golf ball, we are actually hitting on an angle. So our spine is bent forward and we're swinging and rotating around our spine, okay? For a lot of golfers, we actually know that we have to turn and rotate around our body, but we tend to do a little bit like that. We're gonna move side to side, or they're gonna start swaying a little bit, or some of them even move up and down. So we're not doing any of that, we're just rotating around our spine, okay? We're simply just rotating around our spine. If I can rotate around my spine correctly, it's gonna be easier to make good impact and more consistent golf swing. All right, for right-handed golfers, if I'm taking my backswing, I'm rotating my body towards the right side, and then on my downswing, I'm rotating my body towards the left side. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you how to start with our backswing, okay? How we're gonna start our backswing, which is rotating to the right side. I'm gonna show you a little bit how, it, how it's supposed to look and how it's supposed to feel, all right? So I have this drill that I like to work on a lot of beginners or even some golfers, which is the bow and arrow drill. I like for you to imagine that you're holding a ball with your left hand and holding an arrow with your right hand, okay? So from this angle, it's gonna look a little bit like that, okay? Left hand ball, right hand arrow. And I would like for you to pull the arrow back. So when you pull the arrow back, you can see that I'm actually not moving a lot of my body, like my head is not moving to the, my head is not moving to the left or to the right, okay? You can see that I'm just literally just opening my chest and opening my hip, okay? So and if I set up in a golf posture, it's gonna look like this. You can see that my chest and my hip is open up nicely, right? Okay. So when you get to get the feel of that bow and arrow drill, I would like for you to cross your arm in front of your chest, bend over to the setup position and just turn. Well, when you're turning, okay, around your spine, you can see that my head starts to tilt a little bit towards this side, which is fine, okay? So I'm gonna turn a little bit like that. You can see that my right leg is a little bit extended, a little bit turned, chest is open up to the right side. In order to have a good rotation, we have to use our thighs, our hip, our chest, and our shoulder in order to produce a good body rotation. All right, guys, now I'd like you to get hold of an iron, all right? And I'd like for you to put it across your chest, all right? So from this angle, a nice body rotation is going to look like that, okay? But it's not like everyone can do it correctly for the first time, all right? I'm going to show you some mistakes that people will make, all right? So when I get to a nice setup position, some people will think that, okay, I'm gonna rotate with my shoulders. If I start rotating my shoulders, you can see that my left shoulder will go first, and this will kind of produce a flat shoulder turn. This is what we call a flat shoulder turn, okay? So if I get to a setup position and I start turning and rotating with my shoulder, I'm gonna do a little bit like that it's gonna get a little too flat, all right? So we want to turn with our chest turning to the right side. So literally moving my chest instead of just my shoulder going like that, okay? Okay, then another mistake I see in people is they start to rotate with their hips first, all right? They start to use their hips to go first, and this will create what we call a steep back swing where your left shoulder will be dipping a little bit too much like this, okay? So if I start off with my hip first, you can see that my left shoulder is going down and it gets too deep. So we want a proper body rotation and it will look a little bit like that. Okay, this is what I have got for the backswing body rotation. Okay guys, now we got the backswing sorted out, we're gonna move straight into the downswing, okay? As we know that for our backswing, we're moving a little bit slower than the downswing. So if I do take my backswing to the top over here, on my downswing, it's gonna be somewhat faster. 
So you can see that there's more weight and momentum moving to the left side, okay? So when I get to a proper backswing position, I cannot just think of, I'm gonna just turn around my spine and then just spin my body around, okay? As you can see, if I do that, my right shoulder will just take over a lot and eventually cause an outside in golf swing, okay? When I get to a good proper setup position, I would like for you guys to imagine there's a wall over here or even there's a stick, okay? So I would like for you to initiate the downswing with a slight push, okay? So I'm literally just pushing my hip to the left side like that, or you can call it weight transfer or shifting your weight to the left side. And you have to make sure when you get to this position, okay, when I'm pushing my hip, I have to make sure that I'm actually pushing it lateral, okay? I'm not pushing it this way, I'm not pushing it backwards, okay? At this position, okay, I'm gonna start pushing, all right, from here, my left hip will start rotating back and my chest will start to follow and eventually I will finish the turn with my weight all on the left side, okay? But you have to make sure that we don't do it extreme, okay? This might cause some injuries as well. If you do too extreme, our hips will get blocked and it's gonna be really hard for us to rotate our hip back on the downswing, okay? Okay, I know that everyone is built differently. Not everyone can make a nice body rotation with their left arm straight. Everyone know that we want to get our left arm straight, right? So sometimes we don't turn fully. It's really hard to get the arms extended out. So I have a couple ways of trying to help you to turn the body a little bit better, especially for senior golfers or some golfers in general. Sometimes we are just a little bit too stiff. We just can't turn as much as we want to, all right? There's one drill that I would like for you to work on is, so what you can do is flare your both feet out, okay? This is gonna give you a little bit more stability. And I would like for you to just open the right foot a little bit more so you can actually turn the body a little bit more, okay? Just gonna give you a little bit more turn from here, okay? Another way of doing it is when you take your backswing, I don't mind you actually lifting your left heel off the ground a little bit. So it's gonna look a little bit like that. I see a lot of people struggling turning back compared to turning forward. It's because on the downswing, we're actually putting a lot of speed and momentum to the left side. And we also can turn our hips and our right heel will come off the ground, which makes us turn a little bit easier towards the left side. So I don't think that you will struggle too much on the forward swing. Yes, there are some people that kind of like having trouble of like clearing the hips and stuff like that. Sometimes it's because your hands are taking over or you're pushing the hip a little bit too much, trying to come too much from the inside out and kind of get blocked over here. But if you're talking about body rotation and we're trying to get to a full swing, I think for the back swing, it's more important that you work on this or try to lift the left heel a little bit more point the right toe out a little bit more to produce a lot more backswing. I'm not too worried about the downswing. I think with the speed and the weight transferring to the left side, it will be easier for you to get the hip, the chest, and the body facing at target or even a slightly left of target, okay? Alright guys, that's all I have for body rotation. Again, it is really important to have a good body rotation in order to have a good looking swing, solid impact, and of course a consistent ball flight. 
So if you guys do like this video or you did enjoy the video, please give me a like. If you have any questions or anything that you want to talk about this video, please leave me a note and I'll see you guys in the next video.